have a nut in the washer, please? Yes. You just farted, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here you go, run to the family, people, I'm telling you. Run! <laughs> like father, like son. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? Dorito here with my little monster, Zing. And today, we got ourselves the Tau Motor T-Force 125cc ATV. And my son, being the chip off the old block, a.k.a. the chip, um, he's going to hand me some tools today. And he's really interested in putting this up together, aren't you, son? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to start up in the rear and everything like that. And we'll get right back to you guys, okay? All right, guys, we're back. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to put on the back rack. And what we're going to do with that is it's going to consist of a 13 millimeter and a 14 millimeter, 13 millimeter bolt and a 14 millimeter nut like this. God bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. And uh, 13 millimeter and 14 millimeter uh, bolt and nut there. You're going to bolt this up like that. There's going to be four of them. And my son's going to go ahead and hand me the tools right now. Get me the drill and the 17 millimeter wrench right next to it, please. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay, so go ahead and sit right here on the ground, buddy. Oh, show him the back of your shirt. Stand up there. Let him see the back of your shirt. Turn around. Let him see the front. Yep. What's that shirt say on it? <laughs> Let's see here. We got four bolts for that. You can come over here and sit here if you want. You can hand me the bolts. The bolts? Yeah. You mean, do you want all of them? No, just these four. I'm going to put them right here. You can hand me... When I tell you to hand me the bolt, you can hand me the bolt. And when I tell you to hand me the nut, you can hand me the nut, okay? So these are the nuts? Those are the nuts, and those are and the those bolts. Well. Yep. Okay. So first, what we got to do is we got to make sure we got a 13 millimeter bolt and a 17 millimeter nut, okay? okay. So first thing we got to do is we got to get our rack up here. We put our rack up, okay? You want to sit, you want to sit, right? Scoot over here a little bit by me, son. Yeah. Scoot over here. Okay, there we go. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the 17 millimeter bolt. We're gonna put it on through underneath here. Get one through, have me another bolt, please. Thank you, my boy. You're welcome. And we're gonna set another one through on that side as well. Now, once we do that, let me have a nut, please. We're gonna take and loosely put on our lock nut so you don't need any Loctite on this. You can just go ahead and tighten it up. Put one there. A bolt, two. One second. Tighten those up. Then you bring it back up. Can I have another bolt, please? Yes. Thank you. Put the bolt in. Can I have the nut, please? Okay. Thank There's you. your eggnog. My eggnog? Yes. Yeah, you're so silly. So, he, he's been getting into it ever since he went out and he rode a quad. He's learning. You're liking it, aren't you? Wearing your helmet, right? Yes. You got a cool helmet, huh? Yeah. Can I show them my helmet? Sure, you can show them your helmet. Go grab it real quick. But you got to come back over here. Don't block the camera too long, okay? Okay. I'm trying to not block it at all. Okay, go ahead. You got to show them your helmet. Sit down. You can put it on your head. Okay. Remember, pull the bands back. The bands? Yeah, as you put it on, remember? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you got... Need help? Yeah. Okay, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. How's that? Good. Good? What do you guys think? Turn your head, monster. It's not all the way on yet, but that's okay. That's cool. Let's take it off now. Go ahead and put it back over there. Okay, I'm going to. Okay, so while he's doing that, I got the 17 millimeter. <laughs> you beat us, Nicky. Set it up over there. Come back over. You can sit on bucket right now. Go sit on bucket. Woo. Okay, so you got the 17 millimeter wrench and your your uh, 14 millimeter socket. You're going to snug them up. Snug them. Then once you get them snugged up, you're going to want to use your ratchet. Yeah. To go ahead and crank it down. You don't want to over torque anything. 
Okay, my boy, can you hand me the little ratchet, please? The little ratchet? Yep, that's the one, no. This one? No, the other one, there you go. Thank you, monster. Okay, all right. So it's gonna take a little bit more work in here, but that's okay. So what do you think of this one? The, this one is cool. It's pretty pink, huh? Mm -hmm. we should, we should it's ask. the new blue, huh? Mm -hmm. But we should, ask them, we should ask them a scale of 1 to 10. Ask them a scale of 1 to 10? Go ahead and comment below on a scale of 1 to 10 what you guys think of this pink and let us know in the comments, okay? All right, guys, we're back. Go ahead and say hi. Hi. And what we're going to do now is we got to get the back rack on here. Mount that. Now, what that's going to consist of is four 10 millimeter bolts. You're going to set the rack up with the flanges on the outside, okay? Yeah. Might need to do a little bit of tapping, but you'll get it there. Okay, so what he's going to do is he's going to give me a 10 millimeter bolt right now. May I have a bolt, son? Yes. That's a nut. May I have the bolt, please? Okay. Thank you very much. A little nutty about the bolts, right? Huh? Yes. Okay, now give me a nut. All right, so it's a 10 millimeter, or actually a, I'm sorry, a 13 millimeter nut and a 10 millimeter bolt, okay? So, have me another bolt, please. Papa, guess what I did? What'd you do, son? So, so the nuts are right here and the bolts are right here so that... So you organized them so it'll be yes. easier for... You rock, man. Let me have one of the nuts, please. Okay. See, smart kid thinking ahead of time, right? Yes. Exactamente. Okay. Got that one. Now we have another bolt, please. Yes. That's there. You go. Thank you. Let's get the bolt in here. May I have the nut, please? Okay. Pop up. Yes, sir. When, when you have bolts and nuts, mm -hmm. just put the, the bolts right here and the nuts right here. Yeah, that's what you're going to do. Now, may I have another bolt, please? Yes. Yeah, that's your job. You're being the helper. you got to separate them. You know, I used to be your Uncle Lucha's helper when he was a mechanic. You know that, right? Yes. He drove me crazy. Oh. Hashtag! What's with all the hashtags? Hashtag! Hash Browns! Hashtag! Hash browns are gravy! Hashtag breakfast muffins! Hashtag we're getting off the subject! Hashtag I'm not sure what the subject is! So I get to drive you crazy now. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, good. But only about the bolts and, and nuts. Okay, can you do me a favor? Can you go hand me that little wrench over there? Yeah. The 13 okay. millimeter one, the wrench. There you go. Bring it over here. Come back over here. Thank you very much. Now what we got here is the 10 millimeter and the 13 millimeter. So we're going to get that tied down. Okay, guys, we're back again. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put on the front bumper this time. And my son's going to give me the bolts when I need them. Yeah. And we'll get that done too, okay? So what we're first going to do is there's 10 millimeter bolts here that go directly into the frame. And then you've got 10 millimeter bolts with a... 13 millimeter nut that's going to go on the top here for the rack. So what you want to do is you first want to get this in. Get this guy loosened up a little bit more. There you go. You want to first, you want to take the, the 10 millimeters is going to be the easiest. Actually, you're going to take the bigger bolts. You're going to put those on the bottom, which are the 13 millimeters. Okay, once you get those somewhat in, you're going to go on up and so forth. So you got the 13 millimeter ones right there. Okay. Then you're gonna go up, push up your rack, set your bar underneath, like such. That looks cool. It does, doesn't it? Yes. There you go. Set it up there like that for now. Take your 10 millimeter bolt. Get those started there as well. Okay. 
You have a flag? Mm-hmm. Little board? Mm-hmm. Little bit? Yes. Okay. Now we're gonna take and we're gonna get this top part of this rack on, okay? So once we do that, give me the uh, the bolt first, please. Bolt? Yep. 10 millimeter bolt, put that in. Then give me the nut, please. 13 millimeter nut on the back. Okay? Okay. Now give me the other bolt. Mm-hmm. And the nut, please. Thank you very much. I was like getting ready. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You want to help me real quick? Yeah. Okay. Hold on a second. The tiles. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to use the, the cordless grip, okay? And then you're going to put it on right here. Come here. I'll tell you when to push the button, okay? Okay. Wait, I can press it? Yep. <gasps> press the button. Okay. Get it off. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay. Now, go ahead and do this one yourself. Here, hold on to the... Hold on, I'll tell you when. Go ahead. Okay. Now, now come over to the other side. Come over here, come on. Yeah. Well, I'll have to get this side. You can't really fit over here. Okay? Oh, I can let you help me with this one, too. Here you go. Put it on there. Come on, stop dancing around. Get to work. There you go. All right, guys, we're back. And now the fun part. With me and Luke, the handlebars drive us nuts. So we usually help one another. It's a two-person thing. So I got my little monster here helping me, right? Yes. Yeah. So he's going to help me. We're going to see how this goes. All right. Hi, Luch Mob. Hi, Luch Mob. We got one. You got one? <laughs> one. Yes. You can let go. Woo! That was hard, huh? Yes. My hand was starting to hurt. Your hand was starting to hurt? Okay. We got another one on there. Yay. Okay. So now we push the handlebars forward. Then we get the back bolts on, which these are all 10 millimeters. It takes a little bit of time, a little bit of work, but they're not that bad, okay? Right? Mm-hmm. Cool. So, you know, I, I want to point out to you guys real quick here, um, this is something you can do with your kids. You can enjoy. You can have fun. You can do all that. Um, it's not a blast, you know? Um, that's the thing. It's real simple. We get to hang out. We get to do some cool stuff. It's raining outside, so there's not that much room in here, but that's okay. Yes. All right? So now that we got the bars on... What now we're gonna we do is we're gonna go on to no, we gotta get the center okay. the center footrest on. We gotta get the footrest on first. Okay. Alright. So now what we gotta do is we gotta get the footrest on and we'll get right back to you guys, okay? Alright guys, we're back. And Hi, now, lunch mob. <laughs> now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the footrest on. And what that consists of is you got two long Allen bolts, which are gonna go on the bottom here, and then you got you got six Allen bolts that are going to go up here on the plastic, okay? So what you got to do, very simple. Yes. You go ahead and you... It's very simple. Very simple, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. You're going to slide that in. You're going to get that lined up. And what you want to do as well, too, is you want to make sure and get those little hooks. There's little hooks on the side there for the plastics. You want to put those in. So I'm going to take my first long bolt, put it in there. My second one, put it in there. You're going to take your 10 millimeter wrench, okay? Yes. You're going to take your flat washer. Yes. All right. I'm just showing them here real quickly. We'll use the, the bigger one here. You're going to take your 10 millimeter nut and your flat washer. You're going to put it underneath on the bolt. Now just hand tight it. Make it hand tight so you, you can come back to it with your wrench. Because you're going to need to do that. On all of these, okay. There's one. Can you have me? Okay. You want to tighten this bolt up? Come here, push the button. Yes. Okay. Now let's do the get the other one ready. Okay. That's for me. Hold on. Okay, go for it. Okay. It's Good like job. sonic speed. Sonic speed. Yeah, like cool. All right, so we got the footrest on. Six bolts here, two bolts here. Rubber grommet, tighten them up. Good to go. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to jack this up a little bit and we're going to get ready to put the tires on. So we'll get right back to you guys, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we're back. And now we're going to put on the wheels and then on the front, I got to put on the, the, uh, the brake, the brake uh, drum as well as the front rim. So real easy on that. Get your cotter pin pulled. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're getting, you're staying away from it right now because I don't want it to tip okay. over on you. Okay. Yes. I'll get back where you were, where I told you you're fine over there. All right. Okay. I'll give, I would always okay. do Cotter pin. You want to put that up out of the way? Hold on, son. Let me talk to him. Then you take the nut off here. That's a cool nut. <laughs> take your flat washer off and your lock washer. Okay, now once you do that, this is going to go ahead and go right on there. And it's just going to slide right onto the spindle, okay? And same as this one. No, that one's a little bit different. That one's a little bit more work. Then what you do is you put on your flat washer. And then... Your lock washer. Yes, and, and then... Then your castle nut, yes. It's called a castle nut? Yeah, because it, it's... That's see, look, look at, it's because the top of it looks like a castle. Yeah. That's cool, huh? And that's level two now. And that's level two. <laughs> that's a whole other level. Yep, there you go, people. Oh, maybe level maybe one out of the, the, out of the Now the babes. There we go. Okay, once you get that tightened on, you're going to take your... <laughs> that's, you, that's you in the picture? Oh, no, that's, your, that's your Uncle you. Looch. Oh, I thought it was yeah, you. Your Uncle Looch is the crazy little one. And then once you get your cotter pin on there, bend it up. I kind of look like grabbing in this picture. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lot like uh, Robin. Rock, Rocket Raccoon, huh? Yeah. But okay, have me one of those rubber things right there, okay? Yeah. So then once you get your castle nut tightened up and you get your cotter pin back in, you take your dust cover, stretch it on there. Okay, once you get that on there, now we're going to go over to the front. So we'll get right yeah. back to you guys, okay? Okay, guys, we're back. And we're on the final part here. You're just putting on the front spindle and putting on your steering arm, okay? It's real basic, real easy. What you're going to need, hand me those pliers, my boy, Boom. is you're going to need the pliers for your cotter pin. And then you're going to, what you're going to end up doing is here's your brake set up here. You're going to bring that over once you get your axle lined up, okay? Now, once you do that, you got a uh, 17 millimeter nut here and a lock washer, okay? So what you're going to want to do, that's the first thing you want to, you're going to want to get on is that with your cotter pin as well. So get that on out. Pull your steering out. Bring your steering arm down. Drop it right in as such. Then you're going to take your lock washer, put your lock washer on there. And then your castle nut. Which is level six. Level six. Okay, bring that around so you can see everything. Papa, that moved it too. Did it? Yes. Now what you do on your axle is you get your cotter pin out there, your castle nut, and your flat washer. And once you get those off, you want to take your drum here. And you put your drum on. Drum? Yes, drum. It's a brake drum. Put that on. And then there's a little line here, right here, and then there's a little line here. And you want to line those up and push it right in. It inserts right into, right into position there. Okay? Once that's locked in, now you want to get your wheel and put that in. Now what you want to do is there's a little insert that comes with there, and that goes on the outer part of the front of the bearing, okay? So let's go ahead and slide this on. And what you wanna do is you wanna, you wanna slide over the brake shoes, and it'll stop after it gets all positioned, okay? Might take a little bit of spinning. Yes. But you get it in there. All right, once you get your uh, wheel on, you wanna put your flat washer on. Actually, you gotta get your spacer first, I'm sorry. Spacer goes on there first. I almost forgot about that. That's important. You want to get your spacer on first. Okay. Okay. Get your flat washer on there. Okay.
Boy, you are all full of energy right now, aren't you? Yes, because I got some. Because what? Okay, once you do that, you get your castle nut in there. You get your uh, your lock or your castle nut in. You get your cotter pin in there. Bend your cotter pin over. And then take your rubber, your rubber dust cover, yeah. and put that on. All right? Okay. Papa, I think I just burped it. You think you just burped it? Yeah, I didn't oh. farted. <laughs> All right. Too. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to lower this thing down, and we'll get right back to you guys, okay? All right? Mm -hmm. But, Papa, do you smell that? Again? Yes. You farted again? Yes. Uh, see? Yes. Yeah, we'll get right back to you guys. Maybe we're going to have to, oh, maybe we're going to have to air this out. All right? Be right back. All right, guys, we're back. So, like I said, it's raining outside. I don't want to start it right now because of the rain. I don't want to open the garage, and I don't want to start it in here with him. So we'll go ahead and do a ride and review with Luch on this a little later down the road. But that's basically all it is to put together. It's real easy. you got the front rack, the back rack. you got the wheels. you got to put on the, uh, the, the front drum, connect the battery, uh, put the handlebars on, and that's about it. And you and your kid up, you do it, huh, my boy? Yes. So what do you think of it? Tell them. For one to, to ten scale, I think this is a ten. What? Because because it because because it because it has safety when when because when your dad says stop, you could ju you could just mm, mm, you could just pull put it down. Yep, it does have the safety thing with the button that we can shut it off for him, and then yes. he puts this on him, and yes. if it falls off, it pulls out and it shuts down too. He already knows about that because yes. we did it on the other quad, right? Yes. Yep. So yes, you think that quad. Yep. So you think that's really cool, right? Yes. All right. Well, anyways, this is the Tau Motor T Force. This is a really cool quad. This is in the pink tree camo. And we're gonna get Luch out on it. So, anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Thanks for coming in, and don't forget to come back to who? Luch Mob Garage. Garage. You can tell them over there. Who do we come back to? Luch Mob Garage. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Peace. Peace. Rock on. Rock on. Eric Carr, dude. Eric Carr, dude. Yeah.